Hey, this is Dark Jedi, and today we're going to be talking about why you suck at Big Buck Hunter Marksman. Now, if this is your first time ever playing this game, of course, you're going to suck a little bit. But if you haven't downloaded the game, go to the description of this video and click the link. That'll take you right to it. And before you make your first cash deposit, use my promo code Dark Jedi. Oops, not Snark. Dark Jedi SA and that will get you a $20 bonus on your first deposit and a $10 de uh, bonus on your second deposit. So let's jump right into it. Why do you suck at Big Buck Hunter? Well, here's the first thing. You gotta learn the maps and so I primarily only play in the $2 matches right now. There, You pay $1.20 and, and uh, the winner gets $2. Uh, Illinois, that's it. I primarily play in Illinois, and the primary reason is, is I know where all the deer spawn on just about every map. So, for instance, on this one here, very familiar, it's going to be this one right across the middle, then one to the left, then one to the, uh, so one to the left. It's going to jump almost immediately. Let's see, there's the jump. And then on the right, I'm going to do a headshot. He's going to come from the right. I'm going to do a headshot, and then the next one is going to come right from behind the middle rock. There's the headshot. And then he's going to do a jump. And then after that jump, I'm going to aim down sights and pop him. And then the, the last one's going to be on the left, running to the left. And I can take that shot there, but I don't like doing it because I, I usually miss it. I usually wait till he gets past that doe to take that shot. So as you can see here, I just loaded up the game. I didn't prepare for this video. I'm recording it as I play. And I know where all the deer are going to spawn. So right there, that's why you suck at Big Buck Hunter. You haven't memorized where and when the deer are going to jump. It should not be a surprise to you what the deer are going to do. What's another reason why you suck? Well, i uh, tell you. Uh, the next one is going to be called sight discipline. And what does that mean exactly? Well, sight discipline means you don't pull up the sight unless you know where and when you're going to take that shot. Now, sometimes if you're a little tired or... Uh, just a little bit behind the shot, you might hesitate and have to do something dramatic. But for the most part, I know exactly when I'm going to take a uh, take a shot. And right there, you saw me sight down immediately. It's because that deer was doing yoga. If the deer spawns in and it starts bending its legs or jumping, I just wait for it to finish because it's, it's kind of dumb that you'll miss the first deer. Oh, and that is because I'm doing the video. I hesitated there because I'm recording as, as I play, but here I, I already know where and when I'm going to take the sight. I don't, so this one right behind that deer, I'm going to take the shot and shoot it like that. And man, that first game was perfect. This one I'm struggling a little bit, but this one I'm going to wait till behind the trees and that is when I'm going to sight down. And so I know not only where the deer are going to spawn, but I also know when I'm going to aim down sights. So I don't want to aim down sights unless I'm ready to take the shot. What's another reason why you suck at this game? Well, not paying attention to the direction that the deer is running. And I'm going to load up another match and see if that uh, will help explain this one because it is. And I think I won that last one. Let's see here. Yeah. So we won this one. Oh, okay. Uh, won that one by a little bit. All right, so hopefully we'll get one that will explain this point, but basically not paying attention to which direction the deer is running. Now, this is most noticeable when the deer is running away from you, up and away or down and away. And let's see, uh, this one's not going to have one, I don't believe. So let's just shoot through this real quick. But even in this, I think this deer right here, he's jumping towards me a little bit. So I can tighten up the shot. You see, I didn't have to lead it that much because the deer is running towards me. Um, this one's going to be a headshot and I always struggle with this one and I always aim two clicks to the left. Oh, and he's going down. Uh, and I knew I was going to do that. All right. Well, at least I got the great shot. Uh, now I was paying attention to that one. I forgot about the next deer. So this is going to be a little bit more tricky. There we go. And then to the left, we're going to wait for it to clear. I can take that other shot. I just don't like to. And that one's actually a good example. See how the deer is running towards me? I don't have to lead that shot as much. And I did lead the shot more than I needed to. I could have basically put the target right over the, the hit spot. But you can see 
Um, you don't want to lead too far. I'm going to do one more to see if I can get a map that will highlight that point, which is paying attention to the direction that, that the deer is running. Because there are certain things you're going to need to do to help lead the shot properly. And that's paying attention to which way the deer is turning. So let's see here. And to add to that point, do not take a shot when the deer is right at the at the part where it's landing. For whatever reason, the bending of its knees just causes that shot to suck for the for the game. It just thinks you're shooting the upper back when you're when you're not. And I'm not even focusing right now. But um, let's see here. Let's get some perfects. I think this shot right here is running down and towards me. So here, I can I don't need to lead that one as much as you would think, and that, and that one I didn't I didn't lead it enough. Uh, okay, let's see here. I'm trying to get a map where the deer is quite literally running towards me or away from me, because that that will highlight the point that I'm making here. But what we'll do is we'll go on to the next topic. And that is not paying attention to the shot report. Now, the shot report is important because if you're missing shots, you need to know why. And once you get to the point where you're perfect getting everything except one, it's real easy because you can just jump right to that one <laughs> that you missed. And let's see here. So we won two in a row. We're waiting on two more matches to fill. Um, watching the shot report. So here I'm just going to play normal. Maybe we'll get one of those that um, that are running towards me or away from me. But I want to point out to you uh, exactly what I mean by that. So let's see here. So this one's running away. So here I have to actually aim a little lower than you would think because the body is contorted just enough to where I have to aim lower than what you think. So that kind of pointed out a little bit of what I was trying to say there. Um, I think this next one, as it runs across the trees, let's see, it's running down a little bit. So that one we missed. Let's get a perfect on this one. Oh, okay. So this, this is a good example. So what did I do wrong? Did I lead it too far? Or did I not lead it enough? The shot report is going to tell me, I think both of those, I led it too far. So one of them was too high. One of them was too low and they were very close to target, but that's going to help me adjust mentally for the next time I play that map to know where I need to shoot and where I need to be targeting. So hopefully you've learned a few things so far as to why you suck about the uh, suck at Big Buck Hunter. And, and let's recap here. Not memorizing all the maps. Not knowing when you're going to pull your sight up and take a shot. And also not paying attention to the direction that the deer is moving when you take that shot. Because the direction the deer is moving is going to tell you how and where to lead the shot. Now the last one is is more advice than anything else but it's how to lead your shot you need to learn how to lead your shot leading your shot is essential in this game these bullets are basically like arrows they don't get there <laughs> as quick as you would think and so and this one's running towards me so i'm just going to aim basically right where i need to aim uh but when leading the shot what i use as reference is the size of deer so if we look at this shot here you can see the deer basically takes up the whole scope. So I know that I don't need to lead the shot that far. And this one's running towards me. So again, I don't have to lead it as much as you would think. But as the deer get further back along the map, you're going to see that they take less and less space off the screen. And so that one, I didn't need to lead nearly as much as I did. And so based on how big the deer is, determines to me how far out I need to lead that shot. And and as I'm recording this, I'm not leading the shot very well. <laughs> it's really hard to record and, and play at the same time and talk. But um but yes, yeah, so what I'm using as reference as a as a as a tool to help me know, okay, I need to lead the shot past its head a little bit. I need to aim it on the body over the right leg. I'm using the size of the deer and how much it takes up of the scope to determine 
how far out I'm leading that shot. And that's why headshots are very difficult for me because when I go for headshots, it's really hard to put into perspective the size and, and, and distance of the deer. And basically what I've had to do is just remember, okay, if I'm going for a headshot, how many clicks off the center am I using? And this one, look, I always count it on the third jump, right over the right leg. I always take that shot. Uh, these two deer run away. And this one are always tricky for me because I want to stretch the shot. But, oof, that was way too, I didn't lead that nearly enough. But for whatever reason, I just can't get the timing right on these deer when I wait at the very end. And here's a good one. So this one's going to be far away, but I already know this shot well enough. I'm going to take it right there. And of course, I didn't shoot it very good. <laughs> I took that shot a hundred times, but I wait for that deer to hop right there and I put the, the scope right in the same spot every time. And I usually perfect it every time. And that time I just, I uh, made a mistake there. But uh, you can see I let it too far and that's what I thought I did, but the, the replay confirmed it for me. So... Let's see how we're doing so far. Uh, so we've lost two to Surveil. Surveil usually kicks my butt every time, and he's probably going to kick my butt here too. Yeah. Uh, and we're waiting for Daddy Needs Juice to finish his match. So how do we do while recording this? So we won two, three wins, three losses. So this last one will be a tiebreaker to see if I won or lost overall since I started recording. And so... To add to the leading of shots, the last thing, why do you suck at Big Buck Hunter? Not using the tools on your scope. So those little clicks on there can be used as, as dots. I mean, once you know exactly where the deer are going to be every time, you don't have to place the center uh, of the scope where you think it's going to be. You can place uh, a, a, a different dot, basically, because you, you know that that dot is on target and and what i mean by that is the little hash marks to the left right and right and above the scope let's see here oh that one took like it just kind of like bent its knees a little bit and lowered its body i was already high but i could have gotten a perfect if it hadn't just dove down and that one i led too far that one was running towards me and i know that one i'm not supposed to leave farther than what i think but i did it anyway so on the third jump one two and on the third jump, that's when I scope, and that's when I take my shot. And that should be a perfect. So, again, that's where knowing the map, knowing when you're going to scope, all comes into play. And then leading the shot, I've taken that shot a hundred times. I know exactly where to put that, that shot every time. It's going to be the same shot every time. Well, I think now I'm just talking in loops here. I'm just showing off my skills, my horrible uh, big buck hunter skills. And, and that's really it. I don't think there's anyone that's ex like amazingly perfect. Everybody makes mistakes in this game. Oof. Okay, so we lost to Daddy Needs Juice. And that one wasn't a very good score. Yeah, that one wasn't a very good score. But let's see if we can win some of our money back with Surveil. He's usually pretty good. I usually lose to Surveil. But if he doesn't perfect that last deer, I think I have a chance to win. That last one is tricky for some people. Um, let's see here. Oh, and there's another thing, uh, not stretching your shots or stretching your shots. So this is going to sound confusing, but if you're losing and you're to the point where you're perfecting like every time, skills is going to match you with people that perfect fairly often as well. So then it comes down to how far you can stretch the shot, letting the deer run basically off the screen before you shoot them to maximize your score. Yeah, don't worry about that. Just play try to get perfects. Oh, look at how close that was. And I can't leave on a, on a losing streak. So I'm gonna play one more and I'm just going to focus. I'm not going to think. And, and it paired me with someone I've never played before. So I'm probably going to whoop them. Usually when you're on a losing streak in Big Buck Hunter, it pairs you with somebody just to give you a pity win. it feels like. So let's see. And that's usually when I shoot my best too. This is me in deep focus. Oh no, that one's going down. 
soon as I released the shot, I knew that was off target. Ooh, 5.4 on that last shot. Okay, well, I sucked. I choked. Uh, let's see if my theory's right, that skills felt sorry for me and paired me with someone that I could easily beat. But with that score, uh, I don't know. That's not a good score. I just hate losing, and I hate going off on a losing streak. So I want to get a win before I log off, but that could be a while, the way I'm shooting. God, I was wrong. That guy basically perfected the match. My high score on that was 15,000. That guy had 14,600, so I would have basically needed all perfects to hit. Jane Doe is really good, too, so um, that that's not good for me. <laughs> that's not good at all. And, and sometimes you'll find that you're just getting paired with really tough opponents. And actually, this one is one of those maps that I was telling you that you, you really got to pay attention to which direction the deer's running. Take a look at how I take these shots coming up. Uh, this next one specifically, the next two. See how low that was and how tight it was? Oh, perfects. See, I can do something good. Now let's see if it's good enough to beat John Doe. I stretched the shots too, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but that deer, I could have taken that, the, the fourth deer, I could have taken it a lot earlier. Uh, and I waited to the very end to shoot it. And the same thing with that um, last deer. I waited till it was all the way in the back of the map to take that shot. Basically, your opponent has to do the same thing and get all perfects. Oh, come on, 20 points. What is this? <laughs> I'm glad I got that on video though. That is nuts. And that's exactly what I was telling you about. You just have to like take your losses sometimes because man, after all those matches of just struggling to just get a decent score to get perfects like, oh wow. So <laughs> that sucks. I, I, I missed the first deer. So what happens is I lose a thousand point bonus. So right away I'm down a thousand points. Man, when it rains, it pours. And I'm glad I got it on the video. I'm going to still post this on video because I said, why do you suck at Big Buck Hunter? Well, the, the reason is, is because you play like me. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, don't get paired up with people that perfect the match perfectly and beat you by 20 points. That's my advice. Wow, I can't even hit a perfect now. I'm on tilt. That's another thing. When you get like me and you're just on a losing streak, take a break. You're not going to get anything good out of it. Oh, well, at least I got the, the, the hardest shot. I got that one perfected. And now I'm on tilt and I'm on video and I just want to log off on a win. I just like a win here. And, and the thing is, is, I shot amazing that last one. I thought I was ready to log off, but no, I had to go up against someone that was perfectly, perfectly shooting everything perfectly. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, look, a win. Woo, I only got two perfects and I won. So what, what happened here? Okay, let's, let's recap the video we started recording about 15 minutes ago so we got one two three four wins and look at this losing streak now granted i wasn't focusing for some of these one two three four five six seven so seven losses to four wins let's see if i can get another win and that was one of those pity wins i feel like skills gives you like that was a 800 or an 8000 score game but I thought I was, when I got the three game losing streak, I thought I was going to get a pity game. And no, I actually got matched with two really high scores back to back. I'm going to wait for that one to jump.
All right, I was in deep focus. Man, can't believe I didn't perfect that last shot, though. That sucks to be on a losing streak like that and then not get perfects like that when you're just waiting on that last shot. Now, I hope it's not someone that they thought I could just perfect out on because that would be brutal. I need this win. I need it. Let's see. Can we get five, in, uh, five to seven? Five to seven. Let's see it. See, they didn't even score 8,000 points, and I almost perfected the whole match. And Okay, so five wins to seven losses, and I don't know this guy. Uh, I've never seen... So usually when I see someone's name I've never seen before, I'm, I question if how good their score is, because usually it's someone that's not good. Ooh, 6.6. .6. That looks good. All right, last shot, last shot. That looks good. Boom. Well, that was good shooting. That was good shooting. If I can finish with a win here, six wins to seven losses, I'll, I'll call it a day. That won't be the worst. And you will learn thing or two about how frustrating this game can be even if you know what you're doing let's see here give me that win oh they're still playing okay so that one might take a while because usually that means they paused it or they logged off in the middle of the game and it hasn't recorded it yet but i'm gonna take it as a win six wins seven losses that is why you suck at Big Buck Hunter. If you like this video, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.